Hello guys, welcome back to Laravel Daily Channel after a Christmas break. So happy new year and we will start that new year with a surprise for me. I'm starting a totally new project presenting to you Python Machine Learning Daily. I've been silently working on that with the team for the last couple of months or broadly speaking for a year already in the background and now I'm starting three in one launch. So it's a YouTube channel a website pythonmldaily.com and also a Twitter account. According to the well-known job-seeking website Indeed, artificial intelligence is number one in demand tech skill and that includes under the hood machine learning and Python. So I want to invite you to learn with me and that's exactly the point. Learn with me, not from me. I'm not an expert in Python and machine learning. This is my passion for around a year now in the background silently and I will be posting content daily from the things that I've learned myself. And this is actually exactly what happened with Laravel daily eight years ago. So if you go to laraveldaily.com and navigate to page number 58 on the homepage in the list of articles from 2015, we have this, the oldest article, my first article in June 2015 about Laravel names and route groups. Then there's accessors, then input variables, PSR2 and PHP Storm, Eloquent. So step by step, post by post, I've been learning Eloquent myself, improving my knowledge. And only much later, I started a YouTube channel. And even later, years after that, I released a premium paid course and started to earn money from teaching Laravel. So I think Python and machine learning, as much as it is in demand, could repeat a similar story. I want to start the same journey of learning myself and teaching you along the way. And by the way, don't worry, Laravel Daily isn't going anywhere. But I will talk about Laravel Daily's future at the end of this video. But the general story of Python ML Daily, the backstory is this. For eight years, I've been working with Laravel Daily and I realized two passions, two my personal passions. First is to dissect the information in a convenient way to consume, so teach people in a simple language, teach quite complex concepts or combine a few concepts into one video, so transforming the information in a way that it's easy to understand. And people kept saying I have a talent for that. And I realized another passion after I started getting emails and tweets with people thanking me that they got their job or project or promotion or something like that because of my videos. But then I realized that my content actually can help people advance in their careers. So this became my passion and I was trying to create content as practical as possible with real life examples. So you will probably not find any example of full bar on this YouTube channel or hello world or something like that as practical as real life as possible with the goal so that people would apply that in real projects on their job or to get the new jobs. And after I realized those two, I also realized that it's not specifically about Laravel. It just so happens that I work with this framework for eight years and I love it and I've created multiple projects with it, but my actual talents could be applied elsewhere. So I passively started to look around on the market and of course noticed the trend that was impossible to not notice, which is artificial intelligence. The trend started even before the launch of ChatGPT, but then it skyrocketed with demand and articles and videos and everyone was crazy as users of ChatGPT, but under the hood as developers, it also opened huge possibilities to use machine learning models and create and tweak models and be a part of that artificial intelligence revolution. From tech stack point of view, quite a lot of artificial intelligence is about machine learning and majority of machine learning models and examples are written in Python. So I decided to focus on those two and each of them is a huge topic in itself. But this is where my talent can help to dissect the information, the C, the gazillion tutorials and courses on the market to things you really need to know if you want to get a machine learning engineer job or project. So this is my actually goal, kind of a milestone, to get machine learning projects or jobs to you guys and to myself as I will also experiment with that. So what do we start with? First, YouTube channel with one course already published. It's a mini course, six videos 
for the beginners. So if you don't know anything about machine learning and Python, this is one simple example for starters so that you would understand what machine learning actually is. And on this channel, I will publish daily videos from Monday to Friday for now. I hope I will be on schedule. So please subscribe to that. Also, there is a website, pythonmldaily.com with three courses, text-based courses, all for free, no membership. So the same intro to machine learning, but in a bit deeper way in text format. Then also, if you come from PHP background, like myself, like Laravel developer, this should be your first course, Python for PHP developers, where we dissect at the differences between syntaxes and also Python features that are not present in PHP and vice versa. And then also a bit more kind of advanced, but it's also fundamental course, Another task of machine learning is classification. So linear regression is about calculating the salary for employees according to their years of experience. So calculation task, and this is a classification task. For example, if you have Samsung Galaxy S something, machine learning model can predict whether it's a phone or a tablet from its name. Three courses and then a few short tutorials of topics that I encountered along the way when producing those courses. So splitting and combining CSV files, Pandas library, Jupyter Notebook, generating CSV file, importing libraries, and a few more small tips. And also I invite you to follow me on Twitter. In addition to my personal Paul Veloscorp, I started a separate Python ML Daily Twitter account. So I will post new articles and tutorials there. Also, as I mentioned, my goal and the first milestone is to get jobs and projects with machine learning. So that's why I started Roadmap on my website. So in my experience, if you go through those three courses, you could already technically tackle some tasks, maybe not necessarily paid projects, but I found a few Upwork projects that are really possible even with that simple fundamentals. So split large CSV file via vendor. It's a Python task, real job on Upwork. Of course, $25 is not a huge amount, but this is not the point. The point is to have something delivered for some money. This is a proof of concept. Upwork may be not the best platform. You probably won't earn much money there, but this is a great platform to search for real life practical examples. Another example for classification is 16,000 products in Excel. Job is no longer available at this time. In general, on Upwork, if you don't apply within one day, you're too late. But this is the task, 16,000 products, and the task is to automatically categorize that. So I will fill in that roadmap as I go, as I release more content, we'll push more example tasks and projects from Upwork and elsewhere. And this is actually my kind of Northern star, the available jobs and project on the market. I analyze them and I see the trends. So currently in the background, I'm working on content about chatbots and natural language processing and large language models, hugely trending online. And ChatGPT is only one of the applications for that. But there are dozens of other models and capabilities. So I will release content about that because I know there are jobs around that to create chatbots for companies, for websites, or for example, Laracast have their own Larry AI bot to answer on the forum and stuff like that. So this is Python ML daily. Now, as I mentioned, what happens to Laravel daily? In short, not much will change. Laravel is still my primary topic. I'm still a Laravel guy. I'm not moving anywhere. I still have a team to help me. So you will get the content here on YouTube and on laraveldaily.com but with a bit slower pace, because the thing that I've realized over Christmas break, that I was pacing too hard on the edge of personal kind of burnout. And the hardest part is not actually to shoot the video. These days, my problem is coming up with topics that I haven't talked about on this channel. After 1,500 videos, I've covered pretty much everything on Laravel for my audience. In short, five to 10 minute videos, I don't want to dive into very niche topics or topics that are outside of Laravel, but I will figure something out. There's still things to review, code review, package review. Also, there's Laravel 11 coming, which should be huge in terms of changes to Skeleton. So there will be a lot of content around that. Also, older courses are due to update and some of the older topics on YouTube are also good to repurpose, rephrase with different new examples. 
So it will be enough to publish five days a week, not seven. So this is what I decided for my kind of personal mental health. There will be videos from Monday to Friday and my current Saturday video from my car will move to Friday videos from my car. Apart from that, nothing changes. I'm still a Laravel daily guy, as I mentioned, and my Python ML daily is a passion hobby project. But for quite a long time, I haven't been so excited about something new. And that's why this video is longer than I expected. So I apologize for that. But I wanted to explain my new passion, new hobby. So I'm energetic and excited about Python and machine learning. I hope you will join me on this journey. If you have any ideas or feedback about the content that I already published, feel free to reply in the comments here or email me povilas at laravelldaily.com. I hope this new branch of my passion will be another new exciting journey for years ahead. But from tomorrow on this channel, we're back to topical videos about Laravel. I already have a few scheduled ahead about new Laravel versions and new features. So see you guys in those other videos.